Hello viewers and welcome to Elimu TV whereby we are going to learn and experience. Hope you are going to enjoy the lesson. We are going to have our biology form 1, lesson 18 and uh, your tutor will be Mr. Gerard. We are going to handle the topic on uh, nutrition in plants and animals under the subtopic uh, in the internal structure of the leaf. Remember in our previous lesson we have dealt with the external structure of the leaf um, now in this lesson we are going to tackle the internal structure of the of the leaf. We are going to have a lesson goal whereby by the end of the lesson you should be able to you draw and name the structure of the leaf. We are going to have some uh, um, uh, some highlighting on the internal structure of the leaf before we look at the, uh, the exact diagram of the internal structure of the leaf uh, a, a traverse section of the leaf examined under a light microscope reveals the internal structure of the leaf the following is the description of the structure and the functions of the parts of the leaf we are going to have a diagrammatic representation of the transverse section of the leaf and as you can see from our diagram um, on uh, upper left hand we have the stoma whereby uh, the stoma actually we are going to look at um, after the diagrammatic present you're going to look at the function of each part but let us just go through briefly on um, these organelles we are, we are we are having the stoma whereby we can see it is whereby um, the an opening for gaseous exchange the stoma is normally found on the guard cells and as you can see from our, our diagram it is they are relatively they are conjoined there in the in the guard cells so the stoma stoma is just the singular uh, form of the stomata because the stomata are many while stoma is only one and they are enclosed in the guard cells we also have the upper epidermis as you can see we have the palisade mesophyll layer as you can see how it is arranged we have the spongy mesophyll layer we have the veins one by the veins here are being represented by the vascular bundles and as you are aware that the vascular bundles um <coughs> they comprise the um, the xylem and the phloem and you know the function of the xylem is to transport water and mineral salts while the function of the phloem is to transport manufactured food we have the lower epidermis we have the wax cuticle which is found on the outer part of the leaf uh, as you are seeing uh, there, we have, um, as you can see here, we are having uh, carbon dioxide which is getting in while um, also oxygen is getting out. This is happening also in the stoma or the stomata. That is how they allow gases in and out of the, of the leaf. We have also, and as you can see here, we have the guard cell. Whereby we are having the guard cell, we are having the stomata. Because I have said that uh, the stomata are found, they are enclosed in the guard cell. We have the air space, we have the photosynthetic um, cells, we also have the waxing cuticle. So that is our diagrammatic representation of the leaf, and now we are going to deal with um, some of the organelles that we have, uh, we have seen. The first organelle that we are going to look at is the cuticle. The reason why we have to start with the cuticle is because the cuticle this is the upper surface. Um, the, the upper surface of the leaf. Sometimes it can be waxy or not. So this is a thin non-cellular. Non-cellular here means that it lacks cells. It, 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 has, it is made up of dead cells. So the cells are, um, are dyed. A waxy waterproof layer that covers the surface of the leaf. It reduces excessive loss of water and protects the inner tissues from mechanical damage. Actually, the function of the cuticle is to reduce the excessive loss of water because, as you are aware, that in case the plants they lose uh, water to the atmosphere, they might end up drying up. And this um, will uh, leave us uh, having no plants. And as you are aware, that um, they purify air. So its function is to reduce excessive loss of water and it also protects the inner tissues from mechanical damage it also prevents entry of disease causing organisms and uh, it, is, it is transparent and also it allows light to pass through it those are the different functions of the um, of the cuticle 
Uh, we have another organelle. Uh, we have organ another organelle which is the epidermis. And uh, so I can take you back to the diagram. The epidermis. We have both the upper epidermis and we have also the lower epidermis. So we are going now to look at the function uh, um, at large of both the epidermis. So now we are. This is a thin transparent tissue, usually which is one cell thick on the surface of the leaf. Um, it allows light to penetrate into the photosynthetic cells. They have no chloroplast. Remember, um, these uh, epidermis, they lack the chloroplast. Uh, the function of the chloroplast, this, um, this is where photosynthesis takes place. Uh, remember, the photosynthesis in plants is important as it enables the plants to make, um, to make food. But only organelles in the uh, the only uh, organelles which have chloroplasts are the guard cells. This is because the guard cells we have said that uh, we have seen that they contain the stoma, and the stoma is responsible for the gaseous exchange. Uh, it also secretes the cuticle and also protects the inner tissues. That is the epidermis. <coughs> So um, basically the function of the epidermis is to secrete the cuticle. As we have seen the cuticle on our, um, on our previous, um, on our previous um, organelle, it is the thin and cellular waxy water proof layer. And now it is being uh, produced by the, it is being secreted by the epidermis. And also the epidermis protects the inner tissues. Uh, another organelle that we are going to look at are the guard cells. So, uh, so I can take you to the diagram. I want to show you where the girl cells are. We have both the girl cells here. We say that the girl cells they are being um, uh, they enclose the stomata. It is where in it is in the girl cells where we find the uh, stomata. Now we are going to look at the function of the uh, girl cells. So we are going to say um, these are special bean-shaped epidermal cells, mostly found on the lower surface of the leaf. Unlike the adjacent epidermal cells, gut cells contain chloroplasts and are able to carry out photosynthesis. The reasons why the gut cells have to must have the chloroplast is, is to enable um, photosynthesis to take place. They control the opening and closing of the stoma. As I can take you to the diagram, you are able to see that the gut cells, they are the ones which are responsible for the um, they control the closing and opening of the stomata, whereby it is in the stomata where there is gaseous exchange. Um, we are going to see that they, they control the uh, closing and um, um, opening of stomata and also water loss. We have the last one, we are going to have a palisade layer, whereby this is a layer of cells containing uh, located beneath the upper epidermis. It consists of cylindrical cells closely packed together with the long axis perpendicular to the surface. They have numerous chloroplasts containing chlorophyll, which is necessary for photosynthesis. So um, uh, don't forget that the palisade layer, they have a uh, chloroplast. So on our activity, we are, we are going to, we must draw and name the internal structure of the leaf giving function of each, um, each organelle. Um, for further reference on our topic, you're going, you can uh, refer to KLB Secondary Biology Students Book 1, 4th edition, Nairobi Kenya Literature Bureau. For further information, you can uh, send us an SMS through the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or you send us a message on our Facebook page, which is Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Thank you for your time and let us subscribe to all these um, uh, channels so that we are going to learn more. Welcome and thank you very much.